Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're going to talk about some window cleaning business ideas. So if you're in window cleaning or thinking about getting into window cleaning or any of it, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, have a look around. If it's your first time, we have almost... 300 episodes, 30 minutes long. I've been doing this for like five years. It feels like forever. <laughs> but go back and binge. You got tons of episodes. Uh, if you want uh, an interesting podcast that's anywhere you can listen while you work, I know people every year will find it and then go back and want listen to every single episode. So it's super cool. I uh, really appreciate that. And if you're one of the cool kids, eh? If you're somebody who's watched, listened, you like what you do or hear, and more importantly, you buy from me because shameless plug, well, thank you. It is because of you that I get to live the lavish, lavish lifestyle I do. Um, but no, I really do appreciate it. If you guys are ordering from me, it's uh, it's an awesome virtual high five. Uh, a ton of you do, and you let me put your orders in. Literally, all you have to do is if you're logged in, click Save This Cart. It's in checkout, and I can see it, and I can put it in, and it costs you nothing extra. And it's just like hitting one button, but yet you're texting me, and I put it in. I make credit for it, and it costs you nothing more, and now you got a guy. And you're giving back to me and uh, to the industry. So thank you very much, by the way. Um, I really do want to genuinely say thank you. I, I thank you guys every single week, but every single week, new people or just the same people. I mean, just a ton of you will buy from me always. And that really, really, really means a lot. So thank you very, very much, by the way. Um, my number is 862-312-2026. So if you do want to uh, have me as a rep, please save my number. Uh, also, if you're a window cleaning nerd, which we are, you're listening or watching a window cleaning podcast, right? If you want to be better in business, if you just want to have every advantage you possibly can, and if you just want to be cool and in the in the industry and the culture, go to American Window Cleaning, uh, American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's awcmag.com. Go there and get the magazine. The American Window Cleaner Magazine has been around since 1986. It has stickers. It has articles, it has posters, cool pictures. It's just an awesome magazine, and I would love for you to be part of it. Just go ahead and subscribe. It goes to your door every single month. It's a paper magazine, a real paper magazine made for window cleaners. Yes, it's absolutely amazing. So go to awcmag.com and get yourself American Window Cleaner Magazine because, yeah, you're right like that. But anyway, today we are talking all about window cleaning ideas. Now, you know for a fact that I don't really talk about equipment a ton, right? That's just not my thing. My thing is the business side of it. So I have a few things that I've done that have literally changed my company over the years that I've talked about some of these. Uh, well, I've probably talked about all of them in some point, but again, five years of content, you may or may not have heard of it, right? Um, but I'm going to tell you something. There are certain things that I've done in business that have literally changed the game for me. Changed the game. One of these that are in here, uh, not to be clickbaity, but one of them uh, literally increased my business by more than 50% uh, by making one change. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I do try to talk about this stuff because I want you people to uh, use them. I want you to love these different tips and I want you to make more money. I want you guys to be absolutely as strong of a company as you want to be. And another thing, so that number I said, the number that's on the screen, the 862 number, that's a cell phone. I get people daily that are texting me either ideas for shows, ideas for stickers, which would be very helpful. Uh, so definitely text me about any of that stuff. Literally, it's my cell phone. It only goes to me. But um, I also have people who say that I've used this, blah, 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 or I just started doing this, and it is phenomenal. 
and it's changing people's business. So it's really cool. I just want to say that. Um, please do with an open mind and on this stuff. Um, use it as best as you can. And I'm telling you, you may feel odd with some of them, but it's a mindset thing. If you just do something and not let your mind be your biggest hurdle, then you're going to have a bigger, better business. Now, I'm telling you too, just on another thing of mine, we talk about it all the time, but the mind is the reason you haven't raised your price. Maybe you raised your price, but what you raised it, it could have been twice that. The reason is because your mind got there. Your mind said, well, no, we can't go more than that. Oh, we can't do that. Ah, you know, we can't. Nah, let's not. Well, nah, it's your mind. It's not reality. So implement this stuff. Just try it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A year from now, you'll be texting me like, dude, I listened to that episode and my entire business doubled this year. Okay. Anyway, tooting, tooting my horn of all this stuff. But it's so interesting to me when people make little changes. Or uh, as interesting as it is, I also talk to a bunch of people who don't do changes and they're like, no, nah, you know, like, uh. I'm like, hey, I'll talk to somebody about split testing ads. And they'll be like, no, nah, no, nah, I think this one's good. Okay. Oh, I can't argue with you, right? So there's a lot of this stuff. Just try it. I'm telling you, if you implement it, it's going to change your world. The first one I'm talking about is one that Austin Grubbs, if you don't know who that is, we did a live uh, two days ago and brought this up. And he's like, I don't know who came up with it. And I'm like 99% sure it was me. Now, I know probably somebody somewhere has used this, but I came up with this idea like 10 years ago. And I've been talking about it for a very long time. And what it is is oil change stickers. Now, hear me out. You know a little sticker in the corner of your window, a little oil change sticker. It's got the logo of the place you got to oil change. And it says next due date, and there's a date written on there. Next mileage, and there's a date. Those are not exclusive to oil change places. Us as window cleaners can literally get window clings like that printed. And a window cling like that printed is next to nothing. You can have your logo on there. XYZ window washing, XYZ window cleaning. There's your logo. And then bottom says last cleaning service and a white mark where you can write. Your phone number, your website. In your brain, maybe, you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Nobody wants that stuff on their window. There's a, a, what does that do? That Nobody looks at that. There's, I'm telling you right now, that is an absolutely phenomenal thing. Now, I don't put it on every window, which I do know people who do, and you could put it on the corner of every window, and then every time you're there, that window just gets marked at what time it was cleaned last. No one cares. They're like see-through window clings in the bottom corner of a window. No one cares. No one. And if they did care, they would just peel the window cling off. The stuff that your brain stops you from doing, I've had people when we talked about this, they're like, yeah, no, my customers wouldn't want that. Okay, has any oil change place ever asked you about that? No, it's not in your way. It reminds you, right? Window cleaning customers... 99.8% of them, that's a totally real figure that I just made up out of my rear end, don't remember you. They don't know who you are. They kind of remember your logo, maybe their car, maybe they got a card of yours sitting around. Maybe you're still doing refrigerator magnets and got one of those, right? Maybe they do really, really like you. They know your name, but they forget your company name. They don't care about you. You could have a great experience. But if they're only cleaning their windows once every six months, they only remember you when it's time to clean the windows, right? Two weeks from now, if you clean their windows, they're not even going to remember you were there. They'll see the windows, but they're not going to remember the time. That's how brains work. So these little window clings, as cheap as they are, are just little reminders. Now, here's the thing. The reason these work in a degree is that not only are you looking out there and somebody catches it, or they look at the dirty window and they see it, I'm looking at the window when I see the sticker. So I'm looking at the window when I see your logo, right? Association. I look at the window, if it's really clean, and I look at the sticker, I'm like, oh yeah, those are the guys. If I look at the window and it's like, ugh, this window is so dirty. Those are the guys that'll fix it. 
right? But more importantly, the date. The date when you put it on there, people will always go, ah, uh, yeah, um, I think I got my uh, windows cleaned last year, maybe fall. And then you show up and you're like, no, it's been like five years since these have been done. How many times has that happened? Really? By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to have two secret words for you to put on YouTube comments because people were not going to get it. And uh, we did honeysuckle last time. Um, and uh, those words are coming, by the way. So listen for those. Uh, please put them on YouTube so that people get confused. Um, but I want to know how many times you hear that. You don't have to tell me in the, in the comments. But it happens all the time. People are like, oh, yeah, I just got them done. Oh, they were done. It's like gutter cleaning. When's the last time you got your gutters cleaned? I don't know, last fall. And you get there and you're like, there's no way unless you have a tree growing in your roof, right? So it reminds people how long the windows really, really were. So even if they look at it like, oh, they're not bad. And they look down on the sticker and they're like, oh, man, it's been a year. It's been six months. It's been a while. I got to get my windows cleaned again. It reminds them every single time. They're reusable. When you wash the window, the marker can come off. Depending on what you're using in the combination and the type of printing and all that stuff, even if they don't, they're like literally 13 cents. You put one back on the window. It is absolutely a great way to keep yourself relevant, to keep your company relevant, to somehow be associated when people look out the windows. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Ask the guys that are doing it. There's a lot of guys that have started doing this. It is a big, big thing, and it creates that uh, redundancy and, and, and acknowledgement to who you are. So an oil change sticker will be a game changer. It Also, if you're a Bucket Bob, Bucket Bobs don't have little stickers that are custom made. That just puts you in another level. It puts you in another level, and it helps guarantee. It doesn't guarantee, but it helps guarantee that they're going to call you back again, Right? Um, this next one, I'm not going to talk about for very long because I beat it like a dead horse, but this is the greatest thing I've ever done for my company ever in the history of ever. And it is the dentist clothes. It is the dentist clothes. Now, by the way, the first secret word on YouTube that you're going to put in your notes or your comments, you can put any other type of comments and then just put this word, but it's dentist. Put the word dentist in that so i know that you listen but also if you used the dentist clothes or you do use the dentist clothes put yes with it but i dentist closing is this when you go to the dentist again your brain tells you no i can't have people do this service more often i can't here's the thing when you go to the dentist when you're all done they give you a little bag they give you a bag of floss after they know for a fact you don't floss they give you a little toothbrush they give you a little toothpaste wow gee Four squirts of toothpaste, thanks guys. And a little bag, and the bag says the dentist's name. But they also give you your next appointment. Now, I don't know that anybody in the history of ever has gotten that and go, whoa, 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 how dare you assume I come back here? Because your teeth get like dirty again, right? Your windows also get dirty. The customer's windows also get dirty. When you leave the dentist, sometimes you're like, oh, wow, this is really, mm, this is really nice. And sometimes you leave and like, I hate this place. Well, I got six months until I have to come back, right? But in window cleaning, you always make people happy. That's literally what they do is they're happy because you were there. You brought the light in. You Nobody's ever like, all right, look, get out of here. I hate that I have to get my windows cleaned. They don't do that. So by getting the dentist clothes increases your repeat customers by like 80 plus percent when done right. 80 plus percent. That's huge. That is absolutely phenomenally huge. Now, the first year that I started doing this, I started it in the middle of the year. And that middle of the year change that I did Increase from just repeats, increase my business by 50%, which means obviously I missed the entire first like six or seven months of people. But that six or seven months, the last one, I was getting 80 plus 83% of people saying, yeah, let's do it. 
And all I do at the very end of the thing is, oh, great, okay, well, I'll look through the windows, how do they look? Oh, they look so great, awesome. Well, did you want to get this, uh, again, I got an appointment in three months, or did you want to wait six months? I didn't ask yes or no. Do, do you want to have it done again? All right, would you maybe in like six months want, if you're unconfident, you're not going to get this close. I've had probably, well, one that I can know of, but I think there was another one, maybe two people who were like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I don't know, like, every now and then I get somebody who says, yes, it's because you're doing it wrong. If you're not confident, they then have to bring the confidence and people want to be led. You need to be confident. Awesome. Did you want to do it in three months or did you want to wait six months for your next appointment? Most people would be like, no, six months, right? Some people say three months. I even know people who do the dentist clothes differently and they will have their service, and then book six months later. And be like, all right, here's your next appointment. It's going to be six months from now. Uh, we'll call you the week before, remind you, and if anything changes, let me know. They just do it. People are like, awesome. When you do a call list, you call people, and they're like, thank you for calling. I, I didn't even think about it. I know it's time. I know it. Dentist clothes will change your game, but you have to get past your brain. Your brain is blocking you. Your brain is a big blocker. I'm trying to think of like a, a PC term that I could say, but it's blocking you. It's the only reason you're not doing this. It's not the people. It's not your customer. You don't know your customers like that. Now, whenever every time I say oh, you don't know your customers, people get super angry. And they're like, you don't. Okay, okay. But you've not tried it. You don't know. Try the dentist clothes. I'm telling you, it is a game changer for your company. Game changer. Another thing that I've done that uh, does take a little bit of work, but is a really, really, really interesting concept, is Resi Route. Now, that's Residential Route. Now, I uh, have also talked to dozens of people who have implemented this, and there's lots of different ways people are doing it. They're doing like six windows, they're doing 10 windows, whatever that number is. What it is basically is, is that I'm going to talk to my customer and go, hey, I know you may not want that entire house done, but every six months, because I'm doing the dentist clothes and my company is going phenomenal. But in between that, we are able to come out and pick six windows that you really want us to do. We'll do those six windows for 30 bucks or whatever the price is. Now, we're not charging a whole house, right? Because we're just upkeeping them in between the cleanings. But A, I'm always there. I'm always relevant, right? I got my oil change stickers and the dentist clothes. They know who I am. They're never using somebody else. Think about how many people you lose in business. It's because you're not relevant. It's not that they stopped having windows. They always have windows. They just stopped using you, right? And not only that, I'm there every single month. Now, the way that Resi works, Resi route, is that I put it in with other places. I'm trying to do that route. So you do have to build up a resi route. And I know $30 for six windows, outs only, is like $30. But in these neighborhoods that are packed with everything else, these resi route jobs, if I'm in that neighborhood, I put the resi route on. If I'm doing route close to that, I put it on my actual route. It could be done a window's a window. If you do it route just like you would do regular storefronts like route, you're having repeat people on those six windows. Now, six windows doesn't sound like a lot, which it's absolutely not. If I go to a place and I do six windows out, it's going to take me literally two minutes. And I'm done. 30 bucks. It took, I got paid more to drive there. But I get to leave my information, right? I get to leave a custom printed XYZ window washing sticky note that I put on the window after I'd done cleaning it so they can see it, right? I do whatever pieces that I do to stay relevant, but I'm also on that frequency, boom, boom, boom. I'm always there, and then every six months we do the whole thing, and then every uh, four weeks I do this, and resi route. It takes a bit to build up because people, um, it's not a common idea yet, so you have to explain it. It's like roof cleaning. Roof cleaning is amazing, but you have to explain to people you can clean a roof. Most people don't know, right? So once you explain it to people and they understand it, now you can have those repeat people. There's so many benefits to this. Remember, we're building an empire. We are absolutely building 
a company, the only way that your company will be big and monstrous in the money or the strength, even if you're an owner-operator, you can have a big company as an owner-operator. I'm talking about strength, not size, right? No matter which way you do that, it all comes down to the long-term. Frequency is huge. If you have one customer who has their windows done every single day and it takes you eight hours a day, one customer is your whole schedule. You understand that? Forever. As long as you keep them happy, they will be your customer. Like understand that if you get a retention on your customers of regular frequency, all that new work that you're getting in will then go on regular. They may be doing Rizzy route. They may be doing dentist clothes. They're going to be done regular. Every new customer that comes in will be instead of a... $299 every couple years. They're $299 every six months. Plus, they might be doing this other thing and they're not using anybody else. They're not going anywhere else. Eventually, you capture your market share because of all of this. If you're not and you just do jobs and you're like, all right, on to the next one. I better sell. I better do some Facebook ads. I better do some. Yeah, always do that. But you're absolutely forgetting who we're trying to target. We're trying to get those people repeat. You know right now, if you don't ever want to get bigger or like more customers, you could absolutely make more money. It's by having the same customers do it more often. And they already know, like, and love you. Why not, right? Resi route, it gets you so many more benefits than just a dollar. Another one that helps with optimizing, right? This is a big window cleaning idea that I live and die by, uh, but it is not something that is going to um, build up the business, but it makes it stronger. And it is the floater board. Let me explain. I have in my office here, I have a bulletin board. I have a giant uh, whiteboard, a small whiteboard, a giant whiteboard, and another small whiteboard. I love whiteboards because of my ADD. As soon as something comes in my head, I put it out there and they're awesome. Now, a floater board is just this. It's a whiteboard with lines. By the way, you can buy a whiteboard line tape I have on mine, which are like, um, it's like a sticker, a black line. So when you write, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't disappear. Anyway, I know, right? But a whiteboard, and on that whiteboard, it has this. When somebody calls and wants gutters cleaned, outs only, uh, if I have like a resi rounds, if I have anything that does not need to have them be there, I can take that and put it on a float board. Now, I don't put all of that, so I'll have maybe five to 10 items on there depending on how thick we're running. But if somebody calls and says, I, I got 10 people calling a day and they want outside window cleaning, I'll try to put them on the float board, but maybe I'll start scheduling them to kind of block it in. But here's where a floor, float board comes into play. Those are jobs that when it rains and somebody reschedules, you know how it rains for five seconds in the summer and everybody cancels for the day and then you got all this time and you're sitting around? Utilize it. You got float board stuff. They didn't tell you you can't come. Go and do the floorboard. Pick stuff off the float board. Guess what? You show up to jobs that guys and crews are just running awesome their day ends short it's like four o'clock middle of summer dude you guys keep working man we got a gutter cleaning job at one two three fake street now all of a sudden they show up they do that job you just added that onto where it needed to be flow board is stuff that can be done right then and there to fill your schedule remember optimizing your time is critical if you got guys and trucks and systems and everything else just sitting around even if it's two hours of the day, you just lost two hours of productivity. You just lost two hours of what you could have earned. People are always worried about, oh, I got to get another truck. I got to get more people. Got to get. Did you optimize everything yet? Is there any wasted space? I know I'm product guy. I'm going to say this, but are you just squeegeeing or are you water fitting? Water fitting can talk, knock the time in half. Now you just got more time. You don't need to hire more people if you can optimize their time. That's what the floater board does. Floater board also deals with those people who cancel, which I have a seven-day ring guarantee to not get people to cancel. But when they do cancel, then I am covered with at least having some work and getting the people out there. Don't send your guys home early. Sure, they may want that, but don't send them home early. Go ahead and put the float board stuff on them so that they can work a full day. Because if I could get guys, a crew 
of two to work their full eight hour day that I want them. Maybe it's nine, whatever you want to do. Then, and only then, do I put on another truck. Another truck's expensive, more crews are expensive, training's expensive, hiring's expensive. But only once I'm optimized do I want to add that. There's so many people who are getting more people on board that are not optimized. Floatboard does that. It's, a, it's, it's, it's amazing. Amazing. Something so simple. Uh, and then the last one uh, we've talked about, but this is probably one I've talked about least, and it is a 10 or 20 window special. Hear me out. In spring, in ads, in anything... They need a hook. If you just have a picture like this in a squeegee, people are going to be like, oh, weird. They'll go to the next thing. If I have a hook to an ad, a call to action, people will be drawn to have some kind of action from the ad, right? If I say, but call right now, we'll double your order for... That is a call to action. That is why people call on infomercials. That's why infomercials work. Infomercials work by building it up to, oh my gosh, this is so much, so amazing, I can't, right? Have you ever tried to open a can and cut yourself? That's how they start. People are like, what? No. I mean, maybe it's not a, well, here's the, they go in and they explain a thing. Then they explain another thing. And then you can also use it for this. And then it comes with a recipe guide that's got 480 pages of recipes, things that you can do with a can opener. And then after this can opener, if you call right now, we'll throw in another can opener for absolutely free. They build up the ad until the call to action is like, oh my gosh, you're so there. Ah, bye. If you're not doing that in your ads, you're, you're failing out. The ads are not doing well. Well, no, they just, you know, people in my area don't like ads. No, your ads are wrong. Humans are humans no matter what area you're in. If your ads aren't doing amazing, it's because your ads suck. Sorry. If you are trying to do those things on your own, your ads, you're not getting help, you are probably not an amazing graphic designer. I'm not. I am absolutely not. You guys have seen this stuff. I have people who do that, who are amazing graphic designers. We got a guy, Justin, in the office who that's all he does for WCR. Eight, nine hours a day is he's just, he's our graphics guy. He just does everything. He can do stuff. All of our headers for the WCR Nation, he does in like minutes and he'll throw them out and they're all custom made every single week. It's amazing. I can't do that. I put something together and it's Comic Sans and looks terrible. I know that, so I get help. 10 to 20 windows is a call to action to make your ad better. Now, if you do a 10 window special, right? Say you do 10 windows inside and outside for only $149. you are like, well, okay, but my average ticket, okay, stop with the average ticket. Stop with the whatever. Listen, hear me out. 10 window special says, hey, 10 windows equals 149, right? It's 15 bucks a window, technically, right? That's your outs price, right? Say it's 10 windows inside and outside for whatever your price is. Whatever it is, depending on the spring, it's gonna be higher, summer, it's gonna be lower, right? But window is different than paint. Say a window's double hung window is what your brain is telling you, then a window would maybe be more. If it's panes, you could do 10 panes for whatever that price is. People more than likely aren't going to have 10 windows. Usually have more. But it translates and makes it a real thing. It makes it these much windows for these much price. Awful grammar. These many, This many windows for this price. Anyway. So it translates. So when somebody calls and goes, hey, I got 25 windows. Cool. Well then we know that every window is $15 because of our sale. We'll extend that price to 25 windows. See what that does? But what it does is it creates a dollar amount and it creates knowledge. If I just go window cleaning, you go, I don't, I don't even know what it costs. Well, now I got to go through all this thing to find out that it's way too expensive. No, put it out there. Get the tire kickers out. But then they also know. People know they don't have 10 windows, but $149 is a catchy price. Why do you think there's all these people who do this bait and switch thing of $99? It's to get people in and then they go, oh yeah, by the way, 
Don't do bait and switch. If I do a window special for X amount, that X amount, excuse me, is for everything. If I do it and it's $15 a window, they could give me 100 windows and I know that it's $15 a window. It's just I'm not bait and switching because they have more windows. I'm telling them how much each window costs without saying each window $10. Each window $15. Each window $30, right? So putting it out there that way explains to them what pricing is, allows them to understand what it is, and gets them to call because you have a special price. For only three easy payments of $9.99, you can, that's a call to action. Use a 10 or 20 window special, whatever you want. Change that price. You always should be charging more for people who come to you in spring than people who come to you in winter or people who come to you in, or people who come to you in, or whatever. You can change that because demand changes, supply changes, right? Anyway, there you go. There's some window cleaning ideas for you. I'm all hot and heavy this week. I apologize. But speaking of, it's spring. And I would love, love to put this out there. I want you to put your orders in through me. I would love for you to put your orders in through me. My name is Jersey, and I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com, the greatest place in the entire world for window cleaning supplies. Fact. Yeah. And I'm the greatest rep that has ever existed. Hashtag one clip. By the way, the second word, if you've made it this far, is hashtag one clip. That refers to using only one clip in a channel. And uh, if you know, you know. But put that in there. I want to see how many people got both words right. By the way. Um, I want to put your order. And that's how I make my cheddar. Just call or text me. Even better, 862-312-2026. Just save your cart. Or even just text me a screenshot or tell me the items or whatever. I want to put your order in. I want to make it as easy as possible. And I also want to make money. And that's how I do it is by putting orders in. It's awesome. I don't have a Patreon. I know, uh, again, every week I get probably three people who mention something about a Patreon. I don't do Patreon. Uh, I want to put orders in. I want you to get something and you don't even have to pay anything. If you just buy something from me, it gives me money. So see how that works? Great deal. I also want you to get a copy and an issue and a subscription and the stickers. And I want you to get it all from American Window Cleaner Magazine. AWCMAG.com. I know some of you still don't have subscription to the magazine. Why not? Be part of the culture. Be one of the epic cool kids. Be somebody who is going to blow their competition away. You're so far ahead that the other guys, the new guys, they're not even going to catch you. Take the industry seriously and get a subscription. AWCMAG.com. Really go. Search American Window Cleaner Magazine. The America Window Cleaner Magazine has been around since 1986. It's every single month now, full color, amazing, real magazine. So go get that. I see it when it comes in. Tell me you got it too. That's awesome. But either way, go do all that. Make sure to put the secret words into um, the uh, uh, YouTube. But more importantly, until next week, go out there and be epic. <laughs>